<laughs> Mr. Translator? That's my translator. It's your son? Yes, this is my son, CJ. What are all these people doing here, CJ? What are all these people doing? What are they doing? We man, where will you be training for this fight? Where will I be training? Yes. Same place, uh, Garden City, One Commercial Avenue, uh, Ray Longo's gym. We're actually uh, mm -hmm. going to be co-owning co it together coming up. So uh, I guess it's my gym too. And uh, also at Matt Sarah's gym, also at Henry Grace's gym. Well, first things first, I gotta say congratulations on your on your win. Thank you. Now that you got the big fight again, the rematch. Now, how you see this one going down? Uh, you know, I expect a war just like I expected in the last one. You know, you hope for a finish. It's just kind of the way I, th I think of every single fight. It helps me train harder. But, you know, I, if I train for a finish, you know, then all of a sudden it's a war. You know, you're not, you're not going to be in the right place. Uh, your mi mindset's not going to be in the right place. So, How did you get involved in the world of MMA? You know, I started off as a wrestler. Uh, I was trying out for the 2008 Olympics. I ended up getting hurt before the trials and kind of wanted to find a way to support my family. I was getting my master's degree at Hofstra University and it was kind of like, all these wrestlers are doing good with, with the, uh, you want me to take, you want to take it? <laughs> all right, say bye, this is your big day. Here we go, say bye. Bye. Say bye. Oh, he's the best. All right, there you go. Yeah. Slash, slash knife, uh, wife. <laughs> Alright, so where was I on? So you started off in uh, wrestling and uh, so you got injured? So I was wrestling, uh, yeah, got injured for the Olympics and then I was kind of like, you know, I, I felt like athletically I was, uh, you know, at the peak of my career, you know, I felt like I was athletic and uh, had a lot of potential and I didn't want it to go to waste, but, you know, I don't want to just you know, wake up and I'm 40 and wish I did something that I, I, uh, it's too late. So I had to find something that I could, you know, uh, provide for my family doing as far as athletically and I always kind of felt like I, I was a fighter at heart, felt like I was meant to do that, and MMA was a way to. So. How many amateur fights you had pretty much before you went into the pro world or the UFC? Zero. Wow. <laughs> Zero. How much has your life changed since you won the belt, Chris? Uh, it's, 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 I, I guess it's changed a pretty decent amount. Uh, you know, I'm able to get out of the house that got hit by Hurricane Sandy, and I'm able to buy a new house in uh, Dix Hill, still on Long Island. But I'm um, leaving the South Shore, which is hard for me. Uh, and then, um, so it's going to be nice to be organized, you know, we're kind of clustered up in there, cluttered. And uh, so it's going to be nice to have a, a house where I actually have, you know, room and, uh, you know, space where I can put stuff. You know, so <laughs> it's going to be nice. recognized more now? Yeah, definitely recognized more. Uh, you know, a lot of people come out of the woodwork, people, I don't know, you know, have business ideas for me, and you know, stuff like that. Uh, so that's stuff I got to kind of be able to kind of get through because I'm usually just a nice guy, someone comes with me stuff, I'm like, oh yeah, that sounds good, sounds good. They're like, oh, can you do this then? I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm in. The next thing I know, I forget about it and then I'm, I'm like obligated to do all these things I forgot about. Now, say after this big fight, is there anyone specifically on your radar that you would love to get in, into the octagon with? Only only person right now is Insta Silva, that's all I'm worried about. Um, after that, we'll take it from there. There's a lot of good guys in the division, there's good guys at 205, whoever, whatever, uh, whatever the UFC wants to make happen and uh, what the fans want to see is I'm, I'm down for it. What's the mentality going into, like, into this fight where you're trying not to lose something, where it's the first time you were trying to gain something? I, I don't see me try, not trying to lose, not trying to lose something this time. I, I still feel like I have to gain. Uh, you know, um, every fight is just a huge step forward. Uh, so it's, a, it's a, just a lot to gain in every, you in every anything, aspect. You see anything different going into this fight? Uh, not really. You know, I think. Uh, um, and so if I knew he was great, I think he still is great. Um, I'm sure he's going to be extra motivated for this next fight, so I'm prepared for that. I just you were going to get your master's. What? When you study? I did get it. Phys ed. I got psychology on the grad at Hofstra, and then I got my um, my master's in phys ed. I got my associate's degree too. Liberal arts, NASA College.